Welcome to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. This town's got everything. Cool old homes, great restaurants, vibrant nightlife, and entrenched golf cart culture. I call it my happy place. There's just one small issue. It's got a very moody neighbor, one that's usually nice, but occasionally gets very nasty. I'm talking about the Gulf of Mexico. And around here, survival depends on how high above it you are. Mr. and Mrs. Jordan know all too well. As teenage sweethearts in 1969, they rode out Category 5 Hurricane Camille clinging to a rooftop to escape the deadly storm surge. 36 years later in Hurricane Katrina, they incredibly found themselves in the same situation here at their home in Waveland next to Bay St. Louis. I'm looking on that. I said, look like there's water coming to the door. I said, that is water. So I jump up. It's like it just came from nowhere. I mean, it bust the door open, was coming through my fireplace. I told Trey, I my grandbaby, I said, baby, run. And went down the hallway and we pulled the attic down and got in the attic. The water just, I could see it coming up higher and higher. And I started backing up. I started backing up and I said, then I started praying. And I grabbed Trey and I had him in my arms and that door just slammed to I felt like it was my tomb. That's what I felt. I said, we're going to die in here. He says, you think I should start cutting? I said, yes, I'm cutting now. Stop cutting now. <laughs> so he started cutting the hole in because we got to go somewhere now because now the water's up in our house. We got to get out of here. We can't stay here. We hit it and it opened up where he had cut. And he said, that's our way out. <sighs> I know, but it's... It's hard to find words to capture Hurricane Katrina's impact in Bay St. Louis and Waveland. It was apocalyptic. While most of the nation focused on Metro New Orleans in the wake of the tragedy, Mississippians quietly dug out and rebuilt, and over the years clawed their way back to normalcy. There are still empty slabs where homes once stood, as well as monuments to Katrina's wrath. But today, Bay St. Louis is back and better than before, with charming beachside neighborhoods and a festive downtown that some liken to a mini New Orleans. I asked Mayor Mike Favre, what's the secret to the city's big comeback? From day one, everybody started rebuilding, you know, pushing this and pushing, the, you know, to get rebuilt. We lost some citizens and all, but a lot of them have come back. Fortunate to have the high bluff here that we're sitting on for our downtown and it enabled, you know, our businesses to come back. Now let's be clear, nowhere in coastal Mississippi is high above sea level, but some places are less low than others. And a lot of downtown Bay St. Louis, is 20 feet or more above sea level, and that protects it from all but the most massive storm surges. Even so, the city's doing stuff to mitigate the impacts of incoming hurricanes. As FEMA has put new regulations in, we've adopted those regulations. The codes and all are stricter now. Much of neighboring Waveland does this as well, but Waveland faces a special challenge. Unlike Bay St. Louis, its downtown has very little elevation. There used to be shops and restaurants here on Coleman Avenue. Hurricane Katrina wiped him out, and the very low elevation here makes it tricky to rebuild. I talked about this puzzle with Mayor Trapani. We came back to absolutely nothing. We had three steps to our house, um, but to put it in perspective, my next door neighbors actually perished. They died in the hurricane. After surviving two of the greatest hurricanes in American history by the skin of their teeth, the Jordans have one piece of advice for anyone thinking to stick around for the next hurricane. Get out. Do not wait leave because just because it didn't happen to you one time does not mean it won't happen. With hurricane risk, the biggest factor is elevation. It's why one city bounces back and another faces challenges. So know your elevation, be realistic about it, and get out of the way when you're told to. This is Josh Morgan with Weather Nation TV in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi.